This is Gene Key for SkyServe News from WFAA.com, the granddaughter of Jerry Owens, the former chairman of Owens Country Sausage, was found dead in Italy. Italian newspapers reported that a passerby discovered the body of a missing Southern Methodist University graduate who vanished after she went for a jog. The body of Allison Owens, 23, was reportedly found submerged in a ditch in San Giovanni Valle d'Adorno three days after she was reported reported missing on Sunday. The Italian newspaper reported that authorities believe she was killed in a hit-and-run accident and are continuing their investigation. Owens worked as a tour guide and was studying with friends in the province of Azero, Tuscany. She was a 2010 graduate of SMU. Owens was named 2010 Outstanding Student in SMU's Meadows School of the Arts. According to a report from KHOU.com, a Houston mom is facing charges after police say she left her baby girl in a parking lot because she didn't want her anymore. Chanta Johnson, 30, is charged with child abandonment. According to court documents, Johnson left her five-month-old daughter in a child carrier in a store parking lot in the 3200 block of Burkett on September the 18th. Police interviewed a witness who said she saw Johnson leave the baby in the parking lot. The witnesses told police she found Johnson at a nearby basketball court. When the witnesses asked Johnson why she left the girl in the parking lot, she said Johnson told her she did not care what happened to the baby. Johnson was booked in Harris County Jail, and her bond was set at $20,000. According to court documents, she was just released from the Harris County Jail two weeks ago after serving 10 days for a misdemeanor assault. Both of her children were placed in Child Protective Services custody. Some very good economic news from Austin. Texas tax revenues have bounced back to levels nearly equal to pre-recession levels, indicating that the economy is in recovery, the state's chief revenue estimator said Wednesday. John Hellman said taxes on retail sales, motor vehicles, and oil production are near 2008 levels, the last year before the recession. Only natural gas taxes are lagging, mostly due to low prices, he said, during a quarterly briefing to the state house ways and means committee. The state's rainy day fund, which is financed with oil and gas revenues, is expected to reach roughly $7 billion by the next legislative session in 2013. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.